Hey, Shalom Israel, Shalom. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make this work, brothers and sisters. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever you go. Shalom. Uh, yeah, brother, this is this epistle here. It's called Hate the Good, Love the Evil. Just, uh, <laughs> I've messed that up. I totally reversed that, brother. It's called Love the Good and Hate the Evil. Salaki, so brother, man. Please forgive me. Um, but yeah, seriously, on a seriously note, man. Uh, so yesterday, I mean, in the epistle, I was all so, so, so giddy about the truth, you know, about being in the truth. So excited, you know, giving praises and, and joys to you. How about you, shy? And, um, and uh, so be it last night, you know, it was put through the test, my integrity. I had a flat tire last night, man. And I was like, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Because I was so upset about the um, the Edomite that, that, you know, that would not yield. But, you know, ultimately, this is the time. You know, this this their kingdom. Of course, you know, we're supposed to be humble at this time, you know, and just, you know, doing, what, doing whatever we can to stay in the spirit, you know. So it didn't last. It was just a quick one, you know. I was like, all right. And, you know, got right back into it about what needed to be done, you know. And praise Yahweh about Shema Shafer, you know, that it wasn't anything worse than that. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, the funny thing about it also is that just yesterday I was, uh, bring, I was bringing out, speaking about Job and all the things that he went through, you know, and how uh, the devil was, was provoking him and trying to get him to, to go off, you know. Uh, so the same way. Uh, in these days, with all these things happening to us, we gotta hold our integrity, brothers. By the way, there was a brother that uh, made a, a beautiful epistle just this morning about Job and his integrity, and I'm gonna put it in the description box, God willing. I wanna bring out a scripture real quick. I'm gonna get right into the epistle. This is the book of uh, uh, Hebrews. I can get it real quick. I'm gonna put this tire up real fast. Get into this epistle here. Sorry, brothers. Hold on. Okay. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 6. For who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, chasten, chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he received. If ye endure chastening, Yahweh Shema Shah dealeth with you as, as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chastens not? Okay, but if you is without chastisement, uh, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bachelors and not sons. Right, because Yahweh Hashem HaShem right now building us up in the truth, uh, you know, and in the faith. So when all these things start to come upon us, we'll hold our integrity and be, you know, you know, be right there, you know, believing in and being steadfast in the truth. Believing in Yahweh Hashem HaShem through, through no matter what, man. Uh, so we're going to go to the book of Amos, chapter 5. Verse 15. Let's start at 14. It says, Seek good and not evil. Alright, and that's what the epistle is mainly about. Because, hold on, let me put this tire up, man. Because, one second, brothers and sisters. Let me let me finish reading this scripture. We're going to put this tire up so I don't keep have to holding it. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so, Yahweh Shema Shai, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken right so you know uh because we understand that this world is all about wickedness man they promote wickedness on every turn they are uh they go against you how about shima shy you know so we we're seeking good not evil right it says hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be that the lord how about shima shy the host would be gracious unto the Revenant of Joseph, man. And that's what we're talking about right there, man. We are becoming holy and separate up in this place that promotes wickedness. That promotes evil, brothers and sisters. 
So, you know, uh, even with this chastisement, I'm so happy Yahweh Hashem Hashem has given me the means to, um, you know, to to get it uh, rectified, man. And that's that's why, you know, we continually to thank Yahweh Hashem Hashem because he's with us uh, no matter what. As the scriptures say, he's, he'll be with us to, to the end, man. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 3. Get my chair now. Okay, that's what we're talking about right there, brothers. Psalm chapter 14, verse 3. It says they are all gone aside. Hold on. Let's start, let's start at uh, verse, Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They are gone. They, they have done abominable works. Abominable works. There is none that doeth good. Right. We got the children of Israel that's running around here that want to believe in all of the, uh, all of the, all of the deceptions, you know, or the ways of the heathen. They want to uh, or, or be uh, the Antichrist. They want to be their own gods. Every which way but loose. Every which way but the right way. They, they're, they're, they're loving the evil, man. You know? All their works are abominable. There is none that doeth good. Then you got these other ones over in here. You know, with the 100% truth is out on display. Uh, telling, telling the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, that, hey, man, uh, we are the, are the lost children of Israel. We're the Lord's chosen people. But they still want to continue on worshiping this false god and false idol, so-called name Jesus Christ, and being with the heathens, even though the scriptures are telling them, hey, you're my chosen people. You're supposed to be separate and pure. You know, don't be a part of this world. What part of that do they not understand? Because this world is, is ran in all wickedness and evil, man. Uh, verse 2, the Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one, brothers and sisters. You know, that's why right now we need Yahweh by Shema Shai. We need Yahweh Shai. You know, we do need Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that, that, that point can't be stressed even no, no more than that because this is the way. Yahweh Shema Shai said he is the truth, the way, and the light. Okay? No man goes to the Father except by, by through him. Okay? We're going to go to the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6, in the Apocrypha, quickly. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the, for the Most High, Yahweh Shemashah, hateth sinners, and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly, and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Okay? Give unto the good, and help not the sinner, man. Yeah, Yahweh Shemashah, he said he hated all sinners, right? But... Up in, and that lets you know right there that these people are pre preaching a false doctrine because they say that the Lord hates the sin and not the sinner. So they're going contrary to the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai in this wicked ass kingdom. Okay, and everything here is 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 ass backwards and goes against the scripture, man. But we're coming back through the mercies of the power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We're coming back to the truth. You know, we're coming back to the light, man, and we're clinging on to the word of Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. You know, we're clinging to the good. Okay, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whom sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto Yahweh Shem Shai has imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile, brothers and sisters. You know, this is some serious business that goes right along with, you know, just loving the good and hating the evil, man, because the only good thing in this wicked world is this truth. Okay, is the word of Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, uh, uh, even when uh, they called, they called the Messiah, hey, uh, that he's good. He said, no, I'm not good. There's only one that, that's good. That's, that's Yahweh. That's, that's the Lord in heaven, man. Okay, one more time. Psalms chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Okay, so that's the, that's the point. That's the absolute point of this whole epistle, man. Blessed is the one that the Lord has already covered his sins. And how does he do? Because what? We're going to get it. We're going to get it, man. Um, well, hold on one second before we get that. This 
just go get the, the, to the, to the, you know, because this thing, people think it's a joke, but it's not no joke, man, because if you believe in the word, you believe, that's why we're coming out here, uh, holding steadfast to the truth, that's why we're afraid of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and we're doing, doing the work that he's proclaimed for us to do by coming out here preaching his word, man. This is the book of, and giving the children of Israel the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians warning, as he said. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent them. So they're saying all this stuff because they're believing all these, um, they're believing all of these uh, false doctrines out here. They're believing in the devil that the Bible speaks of that's trying to keep the children of Israel from coming back into the, uh, the ordinance of Yahweh Hashem HaShem, you know? They're trying to stop and, del and del delay the building of the third temple, the house of David, man. But we, the children of Israel, the, the, the remnant, are, are returning to the one true living God. Returning to the word, like the scriptures say, uh, the day will come and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Because the Lord sees you such as, as we'll worship him. Man, so the scripture in the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 10 says, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake or prevent us. Simple as, simple as that. And what's sin? Sin is transgression of the law, right? What? And the law was only given to the children of Israel, right? So we know where it's going with this, man. Okay? I'm going to go to the book of Luke. Chapter 13. Verse 3. Let's start at 2. And Yehoshua answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that those Galileans were sinners above all Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you nay, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. And that's what we're preaching out here, man. We're, 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 preaching, we're, we're preaching repentance to the children of Israel. You know, the ones that with the ear and eyes to see. Telling them, hey, that this world that, that they love so much, uh, all this democracy, all these Caucasians, Esau, Edom, the, the, uh, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. They're running this world, you know. The elites, they're running this world, and they're doing it all wickedly, you know. Uh, they're going contrary to the word of the Lord. But the Lord said, hey, man. So that's why we're out here preaching repentance to the children of Israel, because the gates of mercy are open before the Lord comes back and judge this wicked place, man. Suppose ye that those Galileans were sinners above all Galileans because they suffered such things. You know, they died a horrible death. I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Period. Point blank. You believe the scriptures? You say you believe this doctrine? No, this is the 100% truth right here. The Lord's telling you, just like he just told you in the book of Amos chapter 9 verse 10, all the sinners are going to die. Right. But we also read, blessed is he whose sins are forgiven. Right. Or, or verse 4, or, or those 18, upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Right, because in these fleshly bodies, number one, we can't, we can't, we, we, we're, we're filthy rags, man, okay? We can't execute the whole law. We're, we're no good, man. So we need, we need a savior, okay? We need a savior, and that's why the Lord sent his only begotten son, you know, to die for our sins, to cover our sins. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That's right, woe unto you. If you want to continue on being a part of this wicked world, you know, uh, loving this place, not believing in the 100% truth over here, woe unto you, okay, that call evil good and good evil, because this place is damn evil. They're telling you that uh, th th these uh, people that change their, 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 their private parts down there, now they can all of a sudden call themselves another 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 type of human. Something they're making something totally different up. But but the Lord created man and woman. You know what I'm saying? And then they're making a man an offender for the word. So they're telling you you can't even speak about it. You can't even go against it. You know, so that's a wicked evil world. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Because the the uh, the, the scriptures, the Lord, you know, people say in God we trust. Letting you know one more time that they really don't believe they don't they don't they don't care about the scriptures because the scriptures are telling you that uh, that you shouldn't do these things you shouldn't cut, cutting no making no cuttings in your flesh you're supposed to rely on the Lord you know for everything you know He's giving you herbs and all these things you know but they're going totally contrary to the word of Yahweh Shem Shai in this world but I don't want to stray too much off that because we already understand that this world is wicked 
there's no, uh, you know, and this this word is only for the 144, hopefully less than one third of Israel, of the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, the one that will believe these words. It says, War to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. War to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Right, because they're leaning on their own understanding, they're trying to justify themselves. You know, it never stops because they just they just so damn right. But they're gonna find out in the end, man. When you have about Shemesh, I come back and do something. You know, come back and show them. You know, because they they, they they won't believe it. They just can't believe it. This is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter four, verse four. It says, "He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live right." Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Okay? That's right. Let's read it one more time. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 4. He taught me and also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Okay? That's right, and that's it. Retain the words and live. The Lord has given us a guideline of how we should live and how. Uh, these these words right here, these very words, were gonna keep us in these last days because uh, the scripture in the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, I believe it starts it. It says that and they overcame him. They overcame this wicked world, this kingdom, by the word of their testimony, which is these these words, these scriptures right here, man, and and the blood of the Lamb, because the Lord covered us because we believe, man, and we kept, we held held fast to this word. This doctrine, this 100% truth that's brought forth, you know, through the Holy Spirit by the elders and apostles of great millstone, but might I add, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a bunch of Israelite camps, but there's only 100% truth coming from the elders and apostles of great millstone, who the Lord has given a pastor's according to his own or heart. This is the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 16. It says, this, this I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led by the spirit, ye are not under the law. Right. So once the Lord done, you know, uh, giving you that Holy Spirit, man. Once you repent it with your whole heart, you know, um, these are the things that you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be, you're not not gonna be that old man no more. The scripture talks about putting away that old man and and start walking a, in a new way. Right. And you're walking in the spirit. This is the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Okay? For to be carnally minded is death. Carnally minded. To be thinking carnally is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right? Because you're becoming a new creature, man. This is all talking about being reborn. You know, believing in the word. And just and being totally different. And a, a, you now are contrary to this wicked ass world. You know what I'm saying? Because this wicked world is contrary to the word of the scriptures. But now we're contrary to this world. Ah, so we have won. You know, we have the mind of Yahweh Shem Asha. All praises to Yahweh Shem Asha. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 31. We're just going to start at 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than man. What? 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 We ought to obey God rather than man. Obey the scriptures, what the Lord has put forth for us, how to live, how to go about things. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hung on a tree. Him have Yahweh Shema Shai exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins, man. To give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So one it goes right back to blessed is he that... Uh, his transgressions are covered, that his sins are covered, man, you know, because it's the, you have to believe on the Messiah, man, you know, and let's go get that real quick, this is the book of John, uh, chapter 3, verse, I wanted to, I wanted to read 3 verse 1, but I don't want the epistle to be super long, because we already got to reset the camera, man, you know what, I might have to do it anyway, hold on, let me reset this. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go ahead and read it quickly, brothers and sisters. This is talking about, let's just read it. This is the book of John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The, the same came by Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh. For no man can do these miracles that thou dost except 
Yahweh be with him. Right. So they actually saw the Messiah. They saw the miracles. They believed, right? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he could not see the kingdom of heaven. Now the Messiah is telling you, you know what? You gotta, okay, you know, this is the way to, to get into the kingdom of heaven. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he could not enter into to the kingdom of, of Yahweh Shemashah. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Right, so once again, you got, uh, you, number one, uh, repent. Believe in this word. Repent, totally turn from this wicked as world and your wicked as ways, knowing that who you are, your flesh, your 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 fucking sinner, you know. Figure out who you are. Are you an Israelite? You know, really, just go back, man. You got to be born again. Forget everything you've, you've learned and come back. Yeah, how about Shem Asha is going to, you know, if you repent with your whole heart, he said he's going to give you that gift of the Holy Spirit, right? So you can get a more understanding of things, you know? Then you start listening to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You can get that water, get this word, man, and get the understanding, okay? Get the understanding of what's going on. Who you really are, who your enemies are, all these things, right? And I want to jump down. I want to jump down to uh, verse 14. And and so, and so and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have eternal life. Right. So that's telling you that you. You know, to 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 have that eternal life, you gotta believe on the on on your how about Shema Shai, okay? But then what? This is the book of Romans, chapter ten, verse. Uh, let's start it at eleven. For the Scripture said, "Whosoever believeth on Him shall not be ashamed." For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich upon all that He called call upon for. So that once again, that's why you have to get the teachings and the and the understanding. You know, from the elders, apostles, great millstone, and all the other brothers on down the umbrella, so you can understand what this Jew and the Greek is talking about. It's talking about they're all Israelites. You know, you got to be on one accord, one mind with Yahweh Shai. For whosoever shall call upon him, the name of the Lord shall be saved. You've got to believe in the name. Then, how shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right, because we've been taught in this wicked ass world that's, 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 that's full of evil, that hates, this world hates the good, and the good is the truth. Okay? But how are you going to believe on somebody you never heard before? Because they're preaching a different Jesus. You know, but we're preaching 100% truth with the, with, with the Messiah. And how shall they believe on him in whom they have not heard? Ex exactly. So that's why you have to get the teaching, get, you know, get the understanding once you, while you have yet liberty. You know, to repent and come back, man, and believe. Believe on the word. And how shall they hear without a preacher, man? Okay, I just want to throw that in there because it, it's just gorgeous, you know. How the scriptures just go along, you know, it's just, they complement each other and they, it's a big puzzle that needs to be put back into place. It's, it's man, it's something else. And I, once again, giving all under the praise to you, how about Shema Shai? Let's go to the book of Amos chapter 5, verse 15. And we're coming right back around. Amos chapter 5, 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord of hosts, how about Shema Shai, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph, man. So once again, hate the evil and love the good. This wicked world is filled with evil. They're lying. They're, they're, they're just liars, man. You know, because we're seeking, we're seeking out our own salvation with fear and trembling. We're doing, we're trying to do everything we can to preach out by Shema and get to know the Lord and uh, beg Him for mercy. Uh, and that's a reasonable service. You know, this is a book. One more time, the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-two, verse one: "Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven." Whose sin is covered. Okay, blessed is the man unto whom Yahweh Shema Shai imputed, imputed not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile, brothers and sisters. Alright, so, hey, that's good. That's the good when when, uh, when you don't have any guile, you know, uh, the Lord has, uh, uh, he's, he's covered you, he's covered your sins. You know, that's what we're looking for, brothers and sisters. That's why this word is going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians to get your shit together before this time of great judgment happens. Don't trust these devils no more with, with all they, they, what they're doing with their agenda and all their wicked ways. So with that, I hope this is edifying. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakadash. 
I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word, follow the land word of the Lord. Shalom. Shalom, Israel.